Hey everyone, Paige here with iBailey Technology Consulting. Today I'm going to show you a really easy tutorial in Excel that can make your data a little easier to work with when you're doing formulas. So depending on the tool set that you're using, um, some tools like Sage Visual Integrator require you to, to know column numbers and row numbers. Well, have you ever been in an Excel spreadsheet like the one I have up? This is some sample data from Airbnb and you're you're trying to calculate okay g33 what is that what column number is that well you just go up to file go to your options it'll open this options dialog box and we're going to go to the formulas tab and under this working with formulas section right here you'll see r1 c1 reference style and if you hover over it it'll give you a, a brief description it's changing the way excel formulas refer to the cells so rather than columns being letters it's going to refer to the column now as numbers just like the rows so if i select this box and then hit ok we'll see here that that cell g33 that i was just on has become R33 C7, column seven now, instead of G. Uh, it's a helpful way to kind of change how you're doing formulas and referring to your data and outside sources. Um, if you want to revert back, same thing. You just go back to options, formulas, and uncheck that box. Uh, helpful little tutorial that can make your data a little easier to work with. Of course, subscribe below to get more helpful tech tips and uh, let our team know if you need any help with anything else.